Hello sis D and I'm back with another video. Hope you all enjoyed your weekend as I did playing all the new titles that came out. I was able to play Anthem ahead of its Tuesday release as I have Origin Premiere and EA Access. What a beautiful looking game and it's so much fun to play. Also we got Far Cry New Dawn, another gorgeous looking title. Crackdown 3 dropped and to be honest with you guys, I mostly played Metro Exodus over the weekend. Metro Exodus is such a beautiful looking game, not just on PC but all platforms. Xbox and PS4 it looks fantastic, on the PS4 Pro it looks and runs better as well. Of course on consoles it looks and plays best on the Xbox One X with a native 4K resolution. I ran the game on my PC at 4K 60 frames per second with my Radeon 7 GPU. I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can see that gameplay footage. Today's story comes from Eurogamer.com and I will also leave a link in the description down below. Eurogamer had an excellent tech interview with the Metro Exodus developers 4A. This is a very interesting read and I encourage you all to look at the article. For the longest time I speculated that the next generation consoles will do ray tracing. I've been laughed off on this matter as many gamers just don't believe this is possible on a console. 4A believes that the next generation consoles will also do ray tracing and I found this interesting statement in their Eurogamer article. They go on to say that in terms of viability of ray tracing on next generation consoles, the hardware doesn't have to be specifically RTX cores. Those cores aren't the only thing that matters when it comes to ray tracing. They are a fixed function hardware and they speed up the calculations specifically related to the BVH intersection test. Those calculations can be done in standard compute if the compute cores are numerous and fast enough which we believe will be in the next generation consoles. In fact, any GPU that is running DX12 will be able to run DXR since DXR is just an extension of DX12. Now like I've said before, I can see no reason why Microsoft would not include ray tracing in their next generation consoles seeing how they are the fathers of DX12. It would just make no sense at all. And I see that the Gran Turismo developers have been working behind the scenes to implement ray tracing into their Gran Turismo engine. Why would they be doing this if the next generation consoles are not compatible with ray tracing? In order for ray tracing to hit the mainstream, the consoles need to have this implemented as of course this would trickle down to the PC games. Now I do think once again that the next generation consoles will be doing some form of ray tracing and we do have somewhat of a confirmation from the Metro Exodus developers. Let's be honest, these developers must know somewhat what's inside these next generation consoles as they will have to build games for them. Anyways, I find it very interesting that they think that the next generation consoles will have ray tracing and I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that the next gen consoles will have ray tracing or do you think I'm just losing my mind that they will not be capable of doing ray tracing, that we should just be happy if they can do 4K 60 frames per second. Anyways, leave your comments down below and like I usually say, please like, share, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.